Welcome back, everyone, to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mughal Ottoman Empire Lover. Last time, we were extremely successful in not just expanding Afghanistan, but getting the Ottomans to fully work alongside with us, take out the rest of the subcontinent, take out uh, the Levant, take out North Africa, par parts of North Africa, and now we want parts of East Africa as well. Ow, I just had a scab. I was rubbing my leg. My bad. Um, uh, regardless, we have Birth of the Afghan Navy. Uh, landlocked for centuries, our great Afghan nation now touches the water and waters of the Indian Ocean. We should pour resources into the cre creation of a capable Afghan navy to protect our influence across Asia in ways we've not done since the days of the Mughals. Guess who we are? Expand the port of Karachi. The port of Karachi is one of the busiest ports in South Asia, and now it flies the flag of a proud Mughal Ottoman state. With this recent acquisition, we have now have access to a major port that we can use to faci facilitate trade as well as house our navy. Expanding this port will lead to Karachi becoming an even greater boon for us and Afghan merchant marine for millennia. You know. The main source of trade in our nation has been along our mountain passes. Once we were the greatest custodians of the Silk Road. Our access to the ocean has made us no longer limited to the caravan routes that come into our landlocked nation and are able to project our trading influence from the Horn of Africa to the Indonesian archipelago. The creation of an Afghan merchant marine will help us strengthen this influence and replacing what was lost. With the state now fully supporting the rebirth and reformation of the Afghan Air Force, now comes our Herculean task of modernizing and refitting, uh, refitting our decaying air fleet of damaged antiques and relics of the Great War that will probably be more useful in a museum than in a dogfight. By working with foreign contacts, we should rebuild the Afghan, Afghani air fleet, or <coughs> Mughal Ottoman air fleet, and prepare the nation for the wonders of the modern aeronautical warfare. I think that would be great. But we got this to do. I think next we'll take uh, the Entente, namely Muscat, and pretty much taking up the Entente here. Because um, China, well... China's in the Cold Prosperity Sphere. These guys have been slowly losing, but they've been coming back, actually, a little bit. The Third International, they could use their help, too. So, because Russia is basically our main enemy. We don't care about the Reds. The Reds, we don't like Reds, but they're the lesser evil overall. But yeah, so far, Abyssinia. How Selassie? 100,000 man, or almost, roughly a, a million manpower, but... Um, oh, there goes Detroit. Goodbye, Detroit. We don't have enough planes around here, too. That's why we're not doing as well. Our range is not very good. But that's why I forgot to build up some air bases here, too. My bad. And now we have some air bases. You three, head over here. Ooh, and, and you guys, uh, head over here. Because I did want to make sure that we have enough divisions for this group over here as well. There we go. Yeah. And uh, also, Somalia is their uh, puppet, so we should be fine. Now I'm entering some real difficulty. You're doing well. Ooh, Chicago's gone. Goodbye, CSA. Tons of army XP. Love it. Losses. 38,000, not great. 61,000, not terrible. Oh, look at that. Not bad, still building up roads, building connections. We love it. Help them out. Good. As much as I want to get this tile, Djibouti, as well, it's owned by Middle Africa, and I really don't want to fight Middle Africa right now. We got other bigger fish to fry. I and mean, we could take them out, but with the Russians so preoccupied, I think it'd be best to take them out first. Because I doubt that they would have kind of a lot here. They still have a lot of fuel, of course. But once you take the fuel, oh, then they're screwed that all right that's what pretty much what I thought because right now middle Africa I mean it wouldn't be bad but we get bogged down so hard there's no point oh we also own that and we also have Morocco too so um, so that's why I was building up guys here two divisions here should be fine should be fine repair did we learn anything yeah, he's slowly learning stuff it's because we need a full front here yeah pretty much should be fine Overall, there's only two points of entry for Anton here, Anton through Anatolian region, uh, and then through here. There's a smaller hole here, but it doesn't really matter too much. Somalia, Eritrea, Ethiopia. Yeah. Tibet even joined the Co Prosperity Sphere, too, which is kind of weird. The radar's nice, too. 
Alright, we're gonna hit him. We're gonna hit him really hard. Good. Now we've been trying to build up the Air Force more still, which is fine. We have the fuel for it. So. Might as well, right? Boop! Boop, 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 boop. And boop. And uh, I should have used one there too. Oh, we got nothing else to do with the cavalry at this point. I guess we could use motorized, but still. Or maybe even mechanized. That'd be kind of cool. Hello. It's a military police as well, maybe. Even though I guess these are technically good for suppression. Oops. Oh, well, whatever. I don't really care. It does, does not matter at this point. Hey, improved sub holes. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. time. Great last challenge. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Because their divisions are should be pretty good overall. Boop, boop, boop. And here. There we go. What else we got here? Truly never ending expanding economy. Putting a lot of faith in these guys. Heraklion, huh? Are you Van Mokti? Or no? Van Mule. For the future. Well, my friends, it's been fun. Finland finally fell. Look at that. Boom. It's happy 1943, everybody. Plus, loss is great. Ooh. Greece has fallen. Meet the Fockers. While working with a new contact throughout the Reichsbag, met through with the German military attaché, we should procure some of the best aircraft in the world to protect the skies over Kabul and beyond. Striking up deals with companies like Aviatik, Albatross, Fokker, Halberstadt, Junkers, Pals, Roland, Siemens, Stuttgart, Donier, Heinkel, Messerschmitt and more, which are some of the greatest air fleet Asia has ever seen. And paving the Kabul airfield. The current airfield in Kabul is nothing more than a strip of dirt and sand used primarily by the German attaché and their embassy staff. Losing state funds and some grants from Berlin will greatly expand this airfield and bring it up to modern standards, officially creating the Kabul International Airport for domestic, foreign, civilian, and military use that our growing nation desperately needs. And domestic pilot training. Oh, there goes DC. Oh. <clears throat> In order to train the next generation of Afghani air fi fighter air seas, we need some help by investing or inviting foreign experts from our friends and abroad uh, across the German sphere. We'll use mercenaries and pilots for higher supplements. Uh, where we must, we shall create a new group of officer schools and pilot training programs in order to ensure planes are flown by the best Pashtuns around. Um, I guess military police, because why not? Are we ready? Might as well save, I guess. Hopefully the Russians, I mean, it looks like they are preparing against us, but hopefully they can't do very much. Fine, we want one person here, it's fine, whatever. They've chosen incredibly poorly, trying to beat the crap out of us for years. Are we attacking them or what? Okay, one day. There goes Serbia, they were in the on top. And here we go. We don't have the cipher down for them yet. It's gonna take forever, basically, to do. Since we're here, I 
That sucks if we can't go straight through them. Before anything else happens, let's see. Quite a few losses. Russian Republic. New Canada. How's this American Civil War going? Uh, oh my god. The Triple K is winning hard. Jesus Christ. How did they do that? Even whenever I play them, it's always much more of a challenge. Whatever. The, the AI does AI things. Yes, Triple K, uh, sure. I probably should just say yes to everything, but whatever. We're a bit busy right now. They do have quite a few planes, but ours should be better, hopefully. And it's definitely going to help the 3rd International a lot. Sir, the reborn Mughal Empire just declared war on us. What did you just say? Exactly. We're here to win. We got manpower out the wazoo. We got tons of guns. For the love of God, take Baku. You have to take Baku. Armenia will be ours as well. Good. And... Oops. Oh, you're a full army here. Oh, you've done nothing. Good. Great. Great. Throwing you over here now. Come on, God. Can we use you? Oh, that was good. Great. Um... If we make any more cab, I'm going to send them back the other way because they're going to be good defenders and whatnot. That's disgusting. Can we get uh, military access? There we go. That would be better. There you go. Meet the Fockers. Domestic pilot training, nice. Good stuff. Um, I really want cavalry to do it since these guys are pretty good on the front lines and we need them immediately, so. Scout can just move faster in general. Huh. Um, are we lacking anything? Planes? I don't want tack bombers. Light tanks. Now yeah, it's looking pretty good overall. Good so far. Should probably continue upgrading not just art rocket artillery, but even this. Just a little bit, maybe. Uh -huh. Maya. Um, what is this? Ascari officer. Oh, that's cool. Lead colonial combats and no. Oh. Fine. All right. So you actually get to come over here, and unfortunately, gonna help us garrison everything here. So. For now, you never know. Because we have a crap ton of coast. And we might get invaded, we might not. You never know. At least guard that for now. Uh, 
Ah. Very nice. Ah, put some pressure on them. Fighting through is going to suck. Are they just fine on you? Hopefully not. Good. Fighting through here really sucks. Um, everything here, that's fine. That is okay. Ah, well, that saved days. Do they have any core territories of ours? No. no not, not yet, at least. You should be fine. Close their markets to us. What a shame. Well, I didn't begin. need to take the door here. That will give us all that stuff. 600,000 losses. We're, not, we're approaching 100,000. Good. Just supply of three is not the greatest, but whatever. <sighs> hmm. Well, their expect is coming back, I guess. Ooh, I didn't even throw this on there yet, did I? Huh. There you go. Well, that should make us hit even harder. Creation of the African Federation, huh? Ah, uh, oh, wow. So that's Middle Africa now. So they could have gone the Royal Young Line, but when they left for a phone group in charge, that would be Marx. The strike stag, the first election, Bell, Kenyatta, to boldly go, all of our protectors will be annexed. Africa's free at last. Progressive Pan Africanists. African Reformation, oh, I don't think I've seen this one yet. A light on the dark continent. We've got an African Federation, then we got the KKK here in America still winning the war. Slowly, but still winning. Jesus, what type of timeline is this? With the Mughal Empire was back, too. <coughs> Excuse me. 
this. She saves a little bit more manpower. 22.71. Hopefully it'll jump up. 22.73. Oh, look at it. It did. We're not getting enough supply just because they're just so new. At least new to us. There we go. Hey, we're in Crimea now. Surprise, the front lines and the th against the international not moved. We've not moved very much here, but it just kind of because it sucks. But we've been trying. You guys can just hold for now. Oh, look at that. The Canadian Socialist Republic is back. Extraction, because we need more aluminum. There, they have some manpower left. Afghanistan is raiding raptors. Afghans have long had a proud history of raiding and guerrilla warfare for as long as our isolated nation fought off foes and would be conquerors many times their own size. We incorporate these hit and run tactics in the modern age of air warfare. Air, war, blah, 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 air warfare we found, now find ourselves in. Close support in the land force with lightning fast ground attacks and air raids in order to keep our foes forever on the back foot. At this point, you should probably just hang out and hold. Both go good ahead, huh? ways to get in there. Not bad. Nope. And another circle division. Beautiful. Alright, so the supply's looking okay for now. Ish. You actually have a supply base here, huh? Nice. Good stuff. over the river too. There you go. Nice. 
All right, so that's the case. Let's thin out our line slightly more because I want to get ready to attack uh, these guys over here, so it helps our supply situation just a little bit better. Ah, oh, it's gonna take some more time. God dang it. Hmm. Like a lot of Russians here. Can't quite go in for a decisive blow. They're all running out of manpower. I guess are they out of like political power? Why are they not increasing the conscription levels? Which makes no sense to me, but whatever. They're gonna continue just pushing through here for now. Support the attack. Support the attack. The Golden Eagles over skies. Focus on the creation of light, reliable fighters that accommodate our air force, modeled after the strategies and successes of our national bird symbol, the Great Golden Eagles of Central Asia. With a focus on lighter airframes and longer ranges, we shall create an air, air fleet of ever watchful raptors. Nice, look at that. A small encirclement. It's a beautiful thing, you know. Great. Nice. Um, I want to still continue to use you, but you guys are going to come down here. Oh, they did mobilize more. Up these railroads and whatnot. It's not bad. I need more needle speed, though. Should be fine doing that there. Oh. It was Brazil. Oh well. <clears throat> that should open them out. I'm surprised Mexico has not capitulated yet, though. Oh my god, why would you just divide Brazil that many different ways? Oh yeah, they're destroying Canada. Um, sure. You know Britain and Canada? Oh boy. My god. Well. Hurdling over the mountaintops. The mountainous Afghan landscape makes. Uh, landing and refueling were difficult, not to mention the massive pain it is to upkeep landing strips and aeronautical instruments and machinery in our hot and windy climate. Work towards making plans that can fly over the mountain ranges with ease and focus on long range developments like detachable fuel canisters and lighter airframes in order to bend the mountains to the will of the heavens. I wear that one too, so. Support Chinese sovereignty. <clears throat> it's abundantly clear that without a strong Chinese nation, the rest of the Eastern world will fall like dominoes to the schemes of foreign powers. Secure the independence. <clears throat> Uh, of Afghanistan and all of Asia, our diplomats reach out to the various governments that claim the Chinese mandate. Whether backing two nations will carry the torch of light against foreign powers. Well, we'll see about that. Better, even better artillery. They can try, but they might not be so successful. Nice. How's the air war going? Well, we're pretty calm all around here. Oh, they have helicopters. Unique. Let's master them. Still building, building, building all sorts of this stuff. Commence. Yeah, that'd be nice too. I would like to attack, but I want to give us a slightly bit more time. Bro. Oh yeah, that's the end for these guys. How strong are you now? A million versus three hundred thousand. They're scraping the barrel. They don't all don't serve. Edward Isaac versus DC Stevenson. No, all right then. Republic got it off so easy.
Czech Socialist Republic. Oh, how much more manpower do you have? Half a million. A million? Germany's People Republic? Half a million. Yeah, that's our next goal. Down there. Uh, I suppose you could probably train for now, it's really fine. You guys have to crash at the top violently. Do what you can with it. How much fuel does Russia have, actually? Taking Baku is pretty bad, but they have enough for now. It's basically good. Go even faster. Up that slightly there. Because once this is done, we're going to send our armies north and then we'll attack again. Sochi, minor sub will be nice. Bold Bucharest. Um, let's go two at a time, at least for now. Nice. Turn fuel 1.38 million, nice. We're going in. Get these guys in place. That'll be great. And I actually need you guys to force the attack. You guys have got to move faster. Cut off all the supply up north. Crap. Good. More ranges always welcome to. Should be it. Great Caucasian state. Well, not so great now, is it? Oh, we got through there. Nice. Boop. Whatever. Good. Soldiers are ready to go for the most part. Um, how are we looking here? Cryptology. Not quite there yet, unfortunately. But now we got even more divisions. Let's get to the line, and then we're going to do a mammoth attack. Hopefully, we can do well. Do we have any ships yet? No. Ah, uh, they're attacking. Well, looks like they're winning so far. We're going to save, and we're going to attack anyways. Go in. And... You tell you guys to go in here too, but we're not going to yet. You're to just literally hold the line. Good. 
Josh is going to really hopefully ramping up. 886, 887,000, 890,000 some odd. Just got to calculate all these losses that are incurring. We lost a quarter million, which is not good, but we have 22 million reserves, so I'm not really worried about it. How's the air war going? So laggy. I got a couple planes. Looks like for the most part we're shooting them down. Yeah. Everything we have is higher than theirs. And we beat them numerically too. <coughs> it was great. Okay, if it's going an hour every second, that's pretty bad. Okay, the game is going to lag so hard it's not even moving. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright everyone, so uh, I restarted the game and we have a stalwart shield of Islam to do next. While we work towards containing Russian aggression in our own backyard, we must set our sights outwards. Uh, throughout the world, our brothers of the faith and uh, our threatened. We Afghans with <clears throat> Mughal Ottomans will take up the mantle as the true defenders of Islam, transforming a regional land to a global pact united in faith. Absolutely. Just got that one done, which is great. Um, what are we missing here? I'm missing what else? Ah, drop tanks. I really want drop tanks. You know what? We'll make the next set of planes once we have drop tanks, too. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're doing all right. We're still at 59%. Roughly. Oh, 60%. Look at that. Uh, I've killed off quite a few Russians. 1.1 million. Not enough. Um, we're waiting for the cyber to get done. I really want to do a generic attack. That's going to be very costly. We've been building a lot of things. We've been building up a lot of nuclear reactors as well, which is actually really cool. And basically, we're going to get ready for the next war after this one as well, uh, with uh, good old... Uh, actually, we need more planes now, too. We need more aluminum, so we can't really make them. Um, probably the third international. Because once we're done with this Entente here... I'm looking at the cool back. We're looking pretty good. Um, we'll probably take out third international. But that means we need a giant military, because we've got to continue on with the campaign, don't we? I believe so, yes. Let's see what we can do. That's a lot of green. Oh, yeah. I think this is the end of the Russian state, as we know it. You know what? The cavalry can move in, too, maybe. Or maybe not. Okay, that, they can move in, definitely. Anything else here that really happened? Not really, no. Um, so we'll try to take as much of Russia as humanly possible. I really don't want to go to war with Japan or anyone else in Asia. Oh, we've been building up quite a uh, nice little thing of uh, submarines. Yeah, they, they, we're operating here quite a bit, so. So actually, we'll have a pretty gosh darn good sub fleet eventually. So, working on it. I would love to be able to take Moscow. Any more casualties we take, we can support. Uh, I do want to get this one too. This is kind of sucking. I'm not sure why the game was lagging so hard earlier, but it's kind of a redux. I mean, if you're not lagging, you're not doing it right, pretty much. Yeah, there's still quite a few planes, unfortunately. We just need to ramp up our air production, which is why I want to take as much land away from these guys as possible, because we need more resources. Because no one wants to trade with us anymore. They don't like us. Because they're evil. And they're wrong and dumb. Oh. Yes, Germany, yes. We love you, Germany. Nice, right, so we better up a lot of supply stuff already. Just in case, we'll build a few more uh, things up here, I guess. We gotta play enough radar for now. Ooh, can we please get Moscow? Okay, nice. Engine 4 is great. Wow. Well, well, we need this for the next army anyways, too, so. Uh, fine, you got this guy, too. Hey, an encirclement. Good job, guys. Sure, oh, we must be out of artillery, then. You know what? We don't need to... Or something this as much. Let them deal with it. Yeah, 
Could have just one army over here. Just in case. Just training. Having fun. Don't worry about it, Turkish Kami. No worries. We're doing quite a bit of damage to him, so we should be able to win here. I would hope. Lost a million already. Wow. I'm not sure why we're taking so much more damage, especially when we have air superiority. I'm sure supplies are not great, but look at all that damage we're doing. Oh man, if we could get Moscow, that'd be fantastic. But it's destroying our organization so fast, why? Ah, we got Moscow, that's good. Oh! Nice. Look at that lag. Wow. Now, if we get screwed out of a peace deal here, I'm taking territory. Okay, okay. Just as long as we don't get screwed. That's the most important part. Well, everyone, here we're at. The Mughal Ottoman Empire. We're looking pretty good. Um, I think I want to save the war for the next episode um, against these guys, because just to not kill myself with this campaign. Uh, we did get a little bit of Bulgaria. Most of Bulgaria, actually. Even though Bulgaria just still exists for some reason over here. Um, but yeah, it's basically us. Now, World War V will start. Where the Kabul Pact, who owns so much, it's not funny. Co-Prosperity Sphere is doing okay. We even got Vladivostok, which is kind of unique. Um, we've moved ships over here in Petrograd. Just have a navy over here. It's all made of a bold ship, though. Um, but then all of Central, lots of Eastern Europe, all of Western Europe against us. And these guys are still killing each other. KKK has really been disappointing. Something that I don't think I would really, really, really say. But with the Walter Glass stand, we're trying to make more divisions just so that we're ready to go, just in case you know things go really poorly for us. Um, yeah. I'm going to make more cannons, make better, better, basically better everything, really. Large cannons, cannon dirt defense. Wow. That's some thickies. Uh, regardless, though, uh, we can probably some, use some military place. We can continue this way, though. But I wanted to hear just because the next episode, we'll go to war with these guys and probably slog it out and. Hopefully finish our focus tree, because I really want to focus finish the focus tree with the restoration of the sublime part and see what happens. So um that's been a little shorter episode, but that's alright. If you enjoyed the video though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the, in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow, and which will hopefully be the last episode in this campaign to see if we can actually take out everybody here. Because they deserve to die. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.